my goodness. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Yeah. You look younger. Oh, do I? <laughs> you look younger. You're reverse <laughs> aging. <laughs> wow. Just for two years. I know, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Traditional type therapy have said, oh, but, you know, hang on a minute. I've been having therapy for years. How can mm. you say to me in only a few months or, you know, that, that this, this will be this, different? That, yes, yeah. And I say to them because we're using a different part of your brain. Someone. I questioned it and I was like, I don't think this is going to work. How can this work? But it did. Um, you know, I, even, you know, at the start of the first session, but geez, that first session, by the end of it, the, the release, that night like oh wow and the fact that yeah it was it had the session had was at its end but i was you you had told me you are you were there i wasn't going to stop the session you were on that edge of where you needed to be um and it works i i am a skeptic I, you know i do i do think oh how's this going to work and yeah i tried to think can i find someone that's here that i can actually see face to face but also being in your own home and being comfortable in your own bed um because then you know you can afterwards if you feel that you need that you need to still let it out and have those emotions and you're at home in your in your own comfort you can just curl up and let it be whereas if you have to do something face to face something like that mm. you know having to concentrate and drive while thinking of everything that you've just been through and you know mm. having to wait till you get home to just you know kind of let it go yeah. um it works we do a lot of inner child work yeah. yeah how did you experience like the inner child work oh it was just it was amazing um i didn't how can i say this It opened up my eyes to a lot of things and also took me back to things I had um, put into the back of my mind, like never even thought about it, locked it up, threw away the key. But to also see who I was as well and what she needed back then, um, but also kind of like being able to let that go and seeing me, but it was um, very comforting as well. So although it's it's um, a little confronting, it was also very comforting to know that I was there. You, you were there as your oldest, as an older sibling, but to yourself. Um, yeah, I think that was probably the the biggest thing for me. And like I said, just seeing myself and hugging myself, and mm. then letting go and saying goodbye. Um, first, it was like I didn't know whether I wanted to say goodbye or not. I was like, I don't want to let this girl go, but I knew the best thing was to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's an amazing experience. It really gives you an idea of how much your subconscious remembers. And yes. Holds on to. Or allows you to remember consciously and subconsciously. Yeah, yeah, you know, because there is so much more that's hidden that we just don't tap oh, into. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Like yeah. I still remember when I was, you know, when I went through that part where I was saying goodbye to myself and I didn't know whether to let go or I wanted to keep her. Um, I think that was the most, oh, my God. Like I, I still think about it to this day and I'm like, oh, my God, it was like I was really in touch with my old self um and just letting that go was you know as much as I didn't want to let that little girl go yeah letting that go was oh my god it was just amazing it's just yeah it's hard to explain sometimes it's hard it? to explain <laughs> it's like this out of body almost experience and it's really weird but in a really good way and he had come across this pamphlet and seen me in it so it was it was pretty amazing. It's um, it it's such an achievement that I am proud of. Like, and you should absolutely. Be, you've done something right for yourself, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely! It yeah. absolutely does. And even in my every every day to day, like even me myself in myself, like I I feel like a different person. Yeah. You know, I know now 
um, how to put my ba- my boundaries in place. And you know, if something's not sitting right with me, if I leave it, you know, a certain area where I'm just not feeling it, this is not right for me. I'm leaving the room. Um, and that was, you know, that's probably one of the best things for me. Look, I'm taking myself away from a, a situation that doesn't sit with me, whether someone else likes it or not. This is myself that I need. This is myself that I need to protect. Um, and it, it's changed my relationships as well, like, and especially with my mum. Like, it's, you know, major turnaround. Um, I don't, you know, have resentment towards her anymore. You know, how I felt previously, there is none of that. There's no, none of that at all. And oh my gosh, surprisingly, <laughs> this is going to amaze you. Remember that ex Beyonce that I had spoken about? I actually ran into him. <laughs> he actually worked at one of the hospitals that I would transport patients to. Um, and we actually had a, a good chat. And you know what? Now I can see him and talk to him and it just water off a duck's back. It doesn't phase, he doesn't phase me. And that's the key, isn't it? Because we're, I, this is what I say to people, we are always going to get triggered. Yeah. Yeah. But it's how we either respond or we react. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when we respond, we're more in control. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Well, his jaw dropped when he saw who it was because we had masks on and everything. You know, I'm just watching you. And I mean it. You literally do look younger. Oh, thank you. You, do. <laughs> you really do. Yeah. But see, that's what stress does to us, doesn't it? Oh, God, yes. It ages us, I think. Yeah. Well, it just, uh, we don't glow. We don't shine. We're not. No. Yeah. No, we, we look flat and. Yeah. Lifeless, I, I guess. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. But yeah. no, I'm I'm happy. Yeah. I'm really happy. Yeah. yeah, the last two years have been amazing. It's just a huge turnaround for me, the yeah. last two years. Yeah. What's yeah. the biggest turnaround, biggest change? The biggest change is probably being more confident in myself. Um, and I think the job change made the difference as well. But I think letting that resentment go. Yeah because now it's my relationship with my mum is different so it was letting that go I think that was the major thing of letting that go yeah yeah because it all it does it serves to to hurt you more yeah it does mm. but you know I still remember you saying to me give it back to her this is how she was brought up she didn't know any better mm. um and there was no point me holding that against her. She does. She didn't know any better. She still, you know, she still doesn't know any better. You know, she does things and says things the way she does because that's how she was brought up. Yeah. You no, know, she really wasn't shown much emotion when she was young. Beautiful. Isn't it nice to feel comfortable being who you are? Yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. Mm. Oh, you have to be. I think that's the biggest thing. Just accepting. Yeah. Yeah, how, how you are and, and just be who you are. I've proven it to myself. Like when I did first start at RFTS that, you know, I had someone ask someone else saying, oh, who, who's that new person? She's so bubbly and lively. She's just changed the whole the whole environment here. To, I actually remember saying to this person, am I too much for some people? And he said, no way. Do not change who you are. Stay exactly who you are. This is yeah. me and I'm happy. I'm not going to apologise for being happy. Uh, one of my best friend's daughter has seen me and you know I'm just the the crazy person that I am and and I think they'd left and she said mom oh my god like is like that that Gina's crazy it's like no Gina's happy yeah and I'm like yeah she's like no this is what happy looks like thank you so much because yeah no 100% wouldn't have been this way had you had I not had that experience with you Oh, thank you, Gina. Thank you best so much. Best thing, best thing I ever did. <laughs> the yeah. <best>. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. Oh, my last question is, what does yeah. the future look like for you? Oh, wow. So I'm hopefully um, going to complete my clinical instructing hours to become an ambulance uh, transport attendant. Um, so I've done my diploma. So I just need to have my like clinical instructing hours with a um, clinical instructor and get signed off and then... I'm um, an actual ambulance attendant, so I can, you know, go to the sicker patients on the ambulance Victoria ships, and I can give harder drugs, and um, which is probably scary for most people to think. But I'm just like, I feel like, yay! Like 
you know, Vine could be there to help people in that, you know, when they're you know, at their worst, that, you know, in their life, then that's exciting for me. Um, I don't know, like, you know, look, I have thought about doing bachelor in nursing. I don't know yet at this stage. I think I'll get past my CIO hours first. But I'm just, you know, at the moment, I'm very happy with with where I'm at. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> and coming from a lady that had anxiety, was experiencing anxiety, and you are oh. now cool, calm and collected. Yeah, confident. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you're self-assured. You know where you're going. And yeah. as you said, this is what happy is like. Yes, it yeah. is. Oh, it absolutely is. Bye.